Do you know how much of the U.S. federal discretionary spending budget is spent on the military? In the 2015 fiscal year, military spending accounted for 54% of all federal discretionary spending, a total of $598.5 billion. This spending includes regular activities of the Department of Defense, war spending, nuclear weapons spending, international military assistance, and other Pentagon-related spending. Our military budget is 8.5 times higher than our education budget, nine times higher than our veterans' benefits budget, and nine times higher than our Medicare and health budget, just to name a few. Is this acceptable to you? Our military spending is also dramatically higher than that of all other countries, including those we identify as threats. Additionally, in 2013, the U.S. spent more than China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, and India combined. Our monstrous military budget is affecting even our non-discretionary funds in negative ways. House conservatives have recently proposed cuts in Social Security and food stamp programs for veterans in favor of increasing military spending. Cuts to Social Security and food stamp programs would have devastating effects on Americans that need and deserve federal assistance. The proposed cuts seem even worse when we learn about the many wasteful projects that have been implemented under our military budget. Take the F-35 fighter jet, for example. This $400 billion project, the world's most expensive weapon system, when operational, is projected to have a horrendous performance against enemies. The National Security Network's report states that the F-35 is outmaneuvered, outgunned, out of range, and visible to enemy sensors. Additionally, the President's request for the 2016 fiscal year budget includes a whopping $51 billion for the Overseas Contingency Operations OCO account, a Pentagon slush fund that allows military spending to surpass regular peacetime budgeting. Even Secretary of Defense Ash Carter has called the OCO, quote, a road to nowhere. If just 25% of military spending, or $149.5 billion, were redirected, it could have astonishing effects on communities around the nation. According to the National Priorities Project's website, 25% of just New Jersey's defense budget could fund almost 900,000 Pell Grants to students, pay the yearly salaries of 60,000 elementary school teachers, and provide VA medical care for 500,000 veterans. In response to overwhelming military spending and the potential benefits of such trade-offs, more and more cities have adopted Move the Money resolutions, calling for the redirection of foreign military spending back to our communities for human needs. Such resolutions have been passed in cities such as Montclair, New Jersey, Northampton, Massachusetts, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. To learn more about military spending and to join the Move the Money campaign, including getting a resolution passed in your city, contact New Jersey Peace Action by phone at 973-259-1126 or by email at nj underscore peace action at yahoo.com. Also, make sure to check out our Move the Money Facebook page at facebook.com slash njpa move the money.